Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly. A very happy and special day out there to everybody watching today. Instead of new releases, we're going to talk about some old releases I am still pining over. I still want these. Um, I actually have them dated as best I can, but this is a collaboration with Maria over at Agape Love Girl. Absolutely a beautiful and wonderful woman over there. Um, definitely go check out her channel. I can't wait to hear what like Maria has like what she's still like pining over. We're both makeup junkies, like way too much makeup, but I'm so excited to see what she has on her list. If this is your first time here, I want to say hi, hello, thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. I should not be having this cup of coffee. I'm always highly caffeinated, but make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends so I can make more friends here on the internet and subscribe. Anyways, if you are one of my subscribers, you guys go check out Maria's channel. Like, she is a fabulous, fabulous, Oh, I am so inspired every time I see her makeup looks. <laughs> she really, really pushes the boundaries with me. Well, I mean, <laughs> my neutral, Nelly. Um, <laughs> I love her channel. It's just, she's another one of those channels where you turn, turn on her videos and it's like sitting down and chatting with a friend. It's just like your friend is sitting there and you can talk about, anyways. Go go show her show her channel some love. She does all kinds of content. She does makeup looks, makeup reviews, what's in my makeup ba basket like for the for the month. She also is on a health journey, so she's vlogging that too. She does try on like clothing try hauls. Oh, I love her channel. I love her channel. I'm so excited. I like goosebumps. Excited. Um, coffee. Very fitting for oh my day. Anyways, I thought this would be really fun instead of talking about new releases, I am almost bored with the new releases. And I'm started like realizing, huh, there's a lot of old releases that I really, really want. Um, so I thank you. Thank you, Maria, for collabing on me with me on this. This is this is a really fun idea. I'm really excited. Anyways, I did list these. Um, I stopped myself. Uh, I think we're at 15, right? 15. I thought I had 15. I guess I only, I only have 14. But anyways, um, I thought it would be really fun to see if I could pull um, dates as far as when they were released. Um, I tried my best. It is just Google and I am a mom of four and I was trying to do this while teaching preschool through um, eighth grade. So <laughs> I did my best. Anyways, I thought it would be really fun to end on the oldest product. I still really want to try. I don't know why I haven't, but um, you guys are going to laugh. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of old. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so... Oh, there is 15 right there. Okay, so number 15, it was released October of 2019. So just a few months ago, the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. I cannot tell you how many times this, this palette has been in my cart. <laughs> I love this story. I don't have good luck with like the nine pan palettes of hers. If you guys are a Huda Beauty like collector, I guess, or fan, let me know. Are the formulas different? Because I don't like the, well, maybe I would like it because it's not so much the formula. It's, the, it's the, I just don't, I don't like the mono. Maybe I will get it. Maybe I just talked myself into, anyways, you guys, that is in my cart like once a month. <clears throat> Does anybody else do this? Like they go and they can't sleep. And so they just start filling their carts full of stuff. <laughs> Well, I do, um, every day. <laughs> Anyways, number 14 on my list was it released in September of 2019. And it is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I am so happy that this is still available on, again, I think this one lands in my cart at least, at least once a month, if not more frequently, um, depending on whose site I'm looking at, because <laughs> it's on multiple sites and it always ends up there. Or I'm looking up swatches. I really, really want this palette. I really want this palette. Mm. Anyways, number 13 was released in August 2019. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, Flawless Longwear Foundation. This lands in like everybody's favorites. It's still everybody's favorite. Even though they just got it like new, they're starting to repurchase. Like, I want to know. Is it really that good? So... That, that one lands in my cart too. I, I keep, I want to try Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried anything from her brand. And every time I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to throw a bunch of stuff in my cart and like try stuff. That's always, it's always the first thing that goes in there. But <sighs> alas, it still has not found its way to me. 
The next thing was released July 2019, and it's the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette. I, this one actually was just in my cart la, uh, late uh, April. Well, with the uh, sp uh, the Sephora sale. See, what happened was... <laughs> gonna be an interesting story when I see what happened was starts. Um two palettes in at my cart um and I did I didn't want both so I told my husband I don't want both palettes you pick you pick one and then place the order because I can't decide so I uh, well he took it out of my cart <laughs> so technically I didn't take it out of my cart that time but I still really want it now it's not on like it's not available like it's out of stock and I'm like Arr. I should just go to his website because I've really heard really great things about the glosses and um the highlighters too but oh I really I still really want to I want it's the pinks it's the pinks it's just totally drawing me in okay number 11 was it released in May of 2019 the Nabla secret palette anybody else like every every once in a while that one finds its way in my Ulta beauty cart like I know it released um a little bit ago and I'm not sure no, I'm sitting here I don't remember if this May 19th was when it hit like Ulta stores or like when it hit the actual market but oh, every time I'm like search like or I want to add something to my order so I don't feel like it's fulfilled enough I go to my loves list and it's like one of the first things on there I'm like mm. but I, I can't I why have you tried it should I get it I still really like it but anyways in May of 2018, number 10 was released. The uh, Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. I'm a sunrise kind of gal. I am on coffee number three. It is very early in the morning. Like, we haven't started school. It's so early in the morning because I was up and doing yoga pretty much before the birds were up, which is before the sun. Because I'm a sunrise gal. When we go places, like, it's my thing to see the sunrise. I will get up in the middle of the night to travel 20 minutes, 30 minutes, anyways, if like I'm somewhere is just magical to see the sunrise, sunrise over the mountains is fantastic. Um, out in Montana, it, it's really, really cool over the Great Lakes. If you guys ever get up to Michigan, like <laughs> sunrises by the Mackinac Bridge, bucket list. But anyways, I still really want it it's sentimental, but I also because that color story is amazing. Uh, number nine it was released February 19th. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. This is another one. Like, <laughs> I think this one probably lands in my weekly online shopping cart. I don't buy every week, but <laughs> I do um, pretend like I'm going to, I guess. And especially like the last month and a half I've been like online shopping every day on multiple sites and that one is why has that one always like eluded me I don't know I am obsessed with glow mist like obsessed I think that's where like where I need to be as far as like my likes and preferences and everything like that so I don't know why that one's not found its way to me either <sighs> Number eight. I, okay, I couldn't find a date on this, but I think it was available elsewhere before it came here. I went on YouTube and I, I, I looked up when Tati uploaded her video because I knew, know she like reviewed it. So that's where I put the date. Um, it was February 2019. The Kosas Tinted Face Oil Foundation. I'm still really curious about this. Um, I don't, I am. I haven't tried anything from Kosas. I haven't. And th the foundation. Everybody loves the foundation for the most part. I won't. I don't remember it. I can't think of anybody off the hand. Off the hand. <clears throat> Too much coffee. <laughs> off the top of my head that doesn't like that foundation. And I don't know why I haven't. I don't know. Actually, recently was it two days ago, <laughs> which kind of prompted this list. Um, I had that in their new bronzer in my cart and then I didn't place the order. But anyways, I don't know when it was released. Like I said, I, just, I went off when Tati uploaded her video because she usually is like on top of it when things come out. All right, number seven. You guys, now we're, we are rewinding all the way to 
to 2019, 2018. There's, I still want this stuff. <laughs> September 2018, the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Pillow Talk blush. I still really want this blush. And when I do make the order to try out some Charlotte Tilbury, that's on the top of my list. I really want to try it. When I put that on my, like, still want to try list, I went, oh, hmm. I thought that was really old, but then that's only number seven. <laughs> There's still older, like, makeup releases I still really, really want. But anyways, so, yeah, there's there's that. Um, now we're traveling all the way back to July 2018, and number six, the ABH Nervina palette. <laughs> I still really want that palette. <laughs> I have slowed down a little bit on buying ABH palettes, I don't have a reason. It's not my favorite formula, but oh man, I really like that palette. It's purple and it's beautiful. It's purple and it's nudes and it's like, I I still I still really want that. And when I that's another one. When I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's been out for almost two years. <laughs> I've been pining over this palette for almost two years. Pull the trigger. Just buy the palette. Number five. The Urban Decay Born to Run palette was released June of 2018. Like, we're uh, mid-June, so we're, like, weeks, like, two weeks away from this being, like, a two-year anniversary. I still want this palette. I don't see it used, like, but I still really, really like it. Like, Ulta has the, like, they even have a bundle, and I was like, ooh, there's, like, a, a little fanny pack, and I was like, oh, it could be cool. Oh, man, Why? Oh, I still want it. I still want it. Like, I still want it, even though it's two years old. I still really want this palette. Okay, number four. <laughs> April of 2018, Marc Jacobs released the iconic palette, the coconut fantasy one, the pink one. I want that palette. I don't know why. I want that palette. So, wait a minute, because I just, just recently got the uh, coconut bronzer or whatever it was like because I remember when it came out and like Kathleen Lights wouldn't stop talking about it and I finally just bought it like finally just bought it and I'm sitting here like I think those came out together <laughs> so maybe I am starting to check things off of my list <laughs> April of 2018 really really okay okay <laughs> number three February of 2018 ABH Soft Glam. Oh yeah, I don't have Soft Glam. I am a completely neutral lover and I do not have Soft Glam. When I tell people that, like, <laughs> some of my friends are like, really? You don't have that palette? I'm like, yeah, really? I don't have that palette. And when I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. It's beautiful. And I'm, again, I don't know why I don't have it, but I don't have it in my collection. February of 2018, you guys, <laughs> we're about to roll it back. <laughs> Coming in in the number two spot <laughs> is December 2017. <laughs> that is two and a half years ago. <laughs> I just need to buy it. The NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. You guys, I still really want this foundation. I last was it last fall i tried the concealer and, oh i fell in love with the concealer and i meant to get the foundation but i never did i still want it it still hits my cart like they just came out with um like an orgasm eyeshadow collection and well there's eyeshadow and like face palette and like lip stuff and i added it to my cart and i was like oh yeah the foundation click and i'm like really it still didn't just place the order <sighs> There's two foundations on here. Two. Two foundations. Just buy the foundations, Kelly. Just buy the foundations. Okay, and coming in at number one, you guys, this doesn't have an actual date, but the season. It comes out every fall, uh, late fall sometimes, and it is the Hourglass Six Pan Face Palette for the holiday releases. I've always wanted one. I've always wanted one. I remember... I know, I, and I, the reason why it's above the NARS is because I did, I do remember wanting to buy the NARS and the face palette, and I didn't. Oh, but I, I remember that holiday season. I really, I, I really, really tried to want that. <laughs> it was the year I turned 35. 
and I was like, oh, I could totally do it for my birthday and Christmas. And I was like, okay, I had this, I didn't buy it. So that is why it is the number one and it keeps coming around and around and around. And it's like <laughs> 2020, I think is a year. I said this last year though. I know I said, this is the year I'm going to get it. And I didn't. <laughs> I think I need to like make up goals. I do health goals and like personal goals, family goals, and like all those other like goals at the beginning of the year. I think I need to make up goals, like start crossing it off. Do five things off of this list. I mean, let me know. This was fun. I, <laughs> at first I was like, oh, I'll just do like five. There's probably only like five. And then I just kept writing and I kept writing and I was like, you got to stop. We're running out of lines on this piece of paper. So I came up with 15. Oh, that are almost three years old. <laughs> three years old wish list. I still, still want these new releases. I still am very curious over these. Let me know what yours are. Like, do you have, have you ever done that? Like, look, like how long have you been wanting that? I remember when this stuff like launched. I remember the hype and I remember the love and well, some of it is still loved on because like the Lunar Beauty is still loved on. I know all retrogrades making like a comeback with the spring and the summer, like weather uh, hop happening. That one's coming back. But like, I haven't seen NARS in anybody's like favorites. But every time I'm going to try anything by NARS, that one always lands in my basket. Always. <laughs> For two and a half years. <laughs> but let me know what's on your list. I am very curious to hear what everybody else has been pining over and for how long. Do you remember the hype? I remember the hype on all of it. All of it. Oh, anyways, I am so, so grateful that Maria did decide to collab with me on this. This is a lot of fun. I seriously cannot wait to hear what her answers are because we kind of went in with no rules. It's just whatever makeup releases we still really really want in oh man thank you maria i so greatly appreciate you i love and adore your channel and you as a human being it's just a lovely lovely thing but anyways if you haven't already subscribed to my channel give it a thumbs up share with a friend so i can make more friends here on the youtube and go check out maria and be her friend because you will love her anyways i will see you guys in the next video bye